guys it's me back with another video and today we're going to be building this contraption right over here things you need are three redstone torches a hopper 23 minimum passwords but i would make some extra just in case so you lose them a dropper two repeaters white concrete stone pressure plate some redstone dust iron door and the stone button let's get started you need a 8 by 10 place just to put your redstone in so count in by 1 2 3 4 5 and then destroy this row of dirt here and then place it with your building blocks like that then make a framework for your entrance so that it you can work with it more easily so just do what i'm doing like that and now break all the dirt here like what I'm doing right here and then break it by two more layers like that and do the same on the other side And then actually just break this wall here because it's kind of annoying to do, to do your redstone. So just break that. Now take your dropper and place it behind your entrance in a one by one spot there. And then place a button on the opposite side like that. Now direct a hopper there and then extend from bo the bottom of the hopper by three blocks and then just do what i'm doing right over here Then I forgot to add in the list, you need a comparator and face it into the hopper like that. Just place your passes in there like what I'm doing and as you can see it will tip down until there's 18 left and in your dropper you'll have the excess amount of passwords place the bottom to your entrance Place the redstone dust there for now and just keep it like that. Just do what I'm doing right over here. And by the way, this is to, uh, this is the redstone for the door, so you can keep it open because it gets kind of annoying if it instantly closes. So I'm just including it in this tutorial.
didn't really need to put that redstone line so long I just did it because it looks kind of cool but as you can see it mistakenly powered right there so you're gonna actually want to place a block there and place a redstone torch there so the power doesn't continue but then because the power was already sent you just have to break the torch and place it back Then place your pressure plate there and place your iron door there and just and just try cover up your place and I'm just gonna do a test run here just to show you guys how to how it's done and as you can see the door opened and when you step on the pressure plate it will automatically automatically close just like that. And if you try it like this, as you can see, it will not work, as that is not the item you need. So just fill up this area to make it look good. Like this. Like that. And just make it look a bit more nicer just cover up the rest so, as you know it's pretty ugly to see it it's out in the open like that there you go guys now guys I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the payment method for your security kind of door so what you're gonna do is actually you're gonna instead of directing the hopper into the dropper uh, direct it into a storage container like here I used a barrel you can use a chest or any other type of storage system I'll just keep it simple and just make it a single storage thing and as you can see in there is where the actual thing went you, Actually, don't just put a password. Instead, just put something like Iden if you that's what you really want, or put the currency of your server. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my other tutorials. I think you'll like you'll like them if you enjoyed this one as well. And that's it for this video. Goodbye.